The Dodge Viper is a sports car that was manufactured by Dodge, by SRT, for 2013 and 2014, a division of American car manufacturer FCA US LLC from 1992 until 2017, having taken a brief hiatus in 2007, and from 2010 to 2012. Production of the two-seat sports car began at New Mac Assembly Plant in 1991 and moved to Connor Avenue Assembly Plant in October 1995. Although Chrysler considered ending production because of serious financial problems, 1, 2, on September 14, 2010, then-Chief Executive Sergio Marchionne announced and previewed a new model of the Viper for 2012. 3. In 2014, the Viper was named number 10 on the Most American Cars list, meaning 75% or more of its parts are manufactured in the U.S. 4. The Viper was eventually discontinued in 2017 after 26 years of production. The 0 to 60 miles per hour, 97 kilometers per hour, time on a Viper varies from around 3.5 to 4.5 seconds. Top speed ranges from 160 miles per hour, 260 kilometers per hour to over 200 miles per hour, 320 kilometers per hour, depending on variant and year. 5. Development History The Viper was initially conceived in late 1988 at Chrysler's Advanced Design Studios. The following February, Chrysler President Bob Lutz suggested to Tom Gale at Chrysler Design Center that the company should consider producing a modern Cobra, and a clay model was presented to Lutz a few months later. Produced in sheet metal by Metal Crafters, 6, the car appeared as a concept at the North American International Auto Show in 1989. Public reaction was so enthusiastic that Chief Engineer Roy Schoberg was directed to develop it as a standard production vehicle. But then Chrysler Chairman Lee Iacocca delayed approving the $70 million needed to put the sports car into production, saying it was a lot to spend without assurance of financial return. Seven. Schoberg selected 85 engineers to be Team Viper, with development beginning in March 1989. The team asked the then Chrysler subsidiary Lamborghini to cast a prototype aluminum block for the sports car to use in May. The production body was completed in fall 1989, with a chassis prototype running in December. Though a V8 engine was first used in the test mule, called White Mule, the V10 engine, which the production car was meant to use, was ready in February 1990. Official approval from Iacocca came in May 1990. By auto industry standards, $70 million was not a lot of money but the potential and improved image was fantastic. One year later, Carroll Shelby piloted a pre-production car as the pace vehicle in the Indianapolis 500 race. 8. In November 1991, the car was released to reviewers with the first retail shipments beginning in January 1992. The powerful two-seater which sold for $52,000, sparked immediate interest in the Dodge brand among enthusiasts and the automotive press. 9. Lutz hoped it would raise the spirits of the designers and engineers who were discouraged by the homely, unpopular cars that they had been commanded to produce. 9. The popularity of the Viper overshadowed the recent failure of Iacocca's pet car the TC, 
which had cost five times as much to develop. 9. He first prototype was tested in January 1989. It debuted in 1991 with two pre-production models as the pace car for the Indianapolis 500 when Dodge was forced to substitute it in place of the Japanese-built Dodge Stealth because of complaints from the United Auto Workers, and went on sale in January 1992 as the RT-10 Roadster. 10. Lamborghini, then owned by Chrysler Corporation, helped with the design of the V10 engine for the Viper, which was based on the Chrysler's LA V8 engine. A major contributor to the Viper since the beginning was Dick Winkles, the chief power engineer, who had spent time in Italy overseeing the development of the engine. 11. Originally engineered to be a performance car, the Viper had no exterior mounted door handles or key cylinders and no air conditioning, however, this was added as an option for the 1994-95 models, and climate controls featured a snowflake icon, which indicated a potential setting for the AC. The roof was made from canvas, and the windows were made from vinyl using zippers to open and close, much like the Jeep Wrangler. However, the Viper was still equipped with some domestic features, including manually adjustable leather-trimmed sport bucket seats with lumbar support, an AM-slash-FM stereo cassette player with clock and high-fidelity sound system, and interior carpeting. Aluminium alloy wheels were larger in diameter due to the larger brakes. A lightweight fiberglass hard roof option on later models was also available to cover the canvas soft roof and was shipped with each new car. There were also no airbags in the interest of weight reduction. Adjustable performance suspension was also an available option for most Vipers. The engine weighs 323 kilograms. 712 pounds, and is rated at 400 horsepower, 406 PS, 298 kilowatts, at 4,600 RPM and 630 Nm, 465 LBFT, of torque at 3,600 RPM. Due to the long gearing allowed by the engine, it provides fuel economy at a United States Environmental Protection Agency rated 12 MPG US, 20 L, slash 100 KM, 14 MPG imp, in the city and 20 MPG US, 12 L, slash 100 KM, 24 MPG imp, on the highway, 12, the body is a tubular steel frame with resin transfer molding. RTM, fiberglass panels. The car has a curb weight of 1,490 kilograms, 3,280 pounds, and lacks modern driver aids such as traction control and anti-lock brakes. The SR I can accelerate from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour, 0 to 62 miles per hour, in 4.2 seconds, 0 to 161 kilometers per hour, 0 to 100 miles per hour, in 9.2 seconds, can complete the quarter mile in 12.6 seconds at the speed of 183.1 kilometers per hour, 113.8 miles per hour and has a maximum speed of approximately 266 km per hour, 165 miles per hour. 13, 14, its large tires allow the car to average close to one lateral G in corners. However, the car proves tricky to drive at high speeds, particularly for the unskilled driver. Second-generation, 
SR2, 1996-2002. Main article, Dodge Viper, SR2. Dodge Viper GTS, which was introduced as a new model for the second-generation Viper. The second-generation Viper, codenamed SR2, was introduced in 1996. The exposed side exhaust pipes on the RT-10 Roadster were relocated to a single muffler at the rear exiting via two large central tailpipes during the middle of the model year, which reduced back pressure, and therefore increased the power to 415 horsepower, 309 kilowatts, 421 PS. Torque would also increase by 23 lbft, 31 nm, to 488 lbft, 662 nm. A removable hardtop was now available along with a sliding glass window. Some steel suspension components were replaced by aluminum, resulting in a 60 pounds, 27 kilograms, weight reduction. 15, 